So ratios, rates, and proportions, and percentages are all essentially the same thing. They're really a times divide relationship comparing two or more quantities. So with ratios, we have to be particularly careful because the order in which we state the ratio is the order of the way that, that the ratio should be written. So we can write ratios as, a, as words, for example, six. We have uh, three, three compared to six, or three compared to six in words. We can have in ratio notation, three to six, or we can put it in fraction notation as well. So we, when we rate our ratios and state our ratios, we want to make sure that the order of the ratio is that it's stated is, is, is clear. So when we take a look at the diagram above, we've got three squares and six circles. And we want to write the ratio of the squares to the total number of objects. So now it's important that we write the, we understand that this ratio is a part to whole ratio. Okay, so we have three squares. So I'm going to write this as three squares. So we have our squares. So we have three squares compared to the total the total in this case is 9 so this is a 3 to 9 ratio we can express this as a reduced ratio okay we can reduce express this as a fraction okay we can express as three three parts three squares to nine parts total. Okay, we can write express this as a decimal. Okay, so this decimal represents a unit rate. Okay, so 0.33 would represent, would imply that this could be a ratio compared to one, which could be written like this, 0.33 to one as a ratio. Okay, and this could also be written as a percentage. We can say this, that the red to the total is about 33%. So there's a few different ways we can express this and these are all connected. So for this diagram above, six to nine would represent then, well, we have six objects. The six, six objects could be the, the circles here. Okay, so we have six circles. So we have circles and the nine objects would then represent the total. So we also have here, so this is again a part to whole ratio. Here we have six to three. Well, that would be representing circles. Okay, so, so we have six circles. The three represents, can be representing the three squares. So three squares. Now, I'm gonna make sure that we're, that this is highlighted here. This is a part to part ratio. Okay. And normally we deal with part to wholes, but we can have ratios as part to parts, especially if they are in this proportion or this times divide relationship. So equivalent ratios are like equivalent fractions. They are connected with the times and divide. So we, if we start with our, our initial ratio of four to six, that can be scaled down by dividing both parts of that ratio by two, or it can be scaled up by multiplying both parts of that ratio. In this case, I've shown multiplying by three. Okay, so there's this times divide relationship that goes vertically in this case. Okay, we also have the unit rate, which is the ratio that's going from left to right. So there is actually a unit rate going this way. Okay, and there is this unit rate, and I'm going to maybe write it this way. We can use a times 1.5 going from left to right. And that times 1.5, notice that it shows up in the first term, the second term, and the third term. And we can alternatively show it in the opposite direction as divide by 1.5 or times by point. Uh, that would be 0.66. Okay, so we're going to focus on this up and down multiplier right now. But again, we, as we know about the proportional relationship, it is vertical and horizontal, the times and divide relationship. 